Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Ice coming at you with a, another deck profile today. And today we have the queens themselves, Rikas. And um, this is deck build we have right here. It's super fun to play. And um, I'm pretty excited to, I've been excited to use it. It's been really fun to let my buddy with it and everything. Because, you know, quarantine, can't really get out there. And I, I don't really care for where I go. But the times I have used it, it's a... Uh, it's pretty fun. You can get around a lot of annoying stuff with these guys because they themselves have some annoying cards. And by annoying, I mean fun. So let's get into the build. So the best card, one of the best cards you have in the entire deck is Rika Petal. You're going to max always play this at three. What she does is she's going to pretty much search for any one of your Rika cards and get it to your hand. So... And you, once you do that, it locks you into plants. Is that something you have to be aware of the whole time? Especially if you want to bring on like a Palooza or something else. Make sure to use her last. If you have nothing else to use, then go and search. She's always good. If she goes to the graveyard, um, let's say you tribute her at the, your opponent's end phase, she special summons herself back. So pretty much almost every turn, unless she gets DD crowed or called by the grave, she will always be on your field after that every single time. Uh, next best card you have is snowdrop the rika fairy so she's a must have at three basically what she does is you contribute one plant on your field and um target one other card in your hand one other uh i think it has to be one other plant monster and you can special summon the bolt to use her effect you have to have another plant in your hand have to so amazing card um she pretty much lets you pretty much go super easy into your teardrop if you have um one of the other ones you either lower her level, but we don't think I, I don't run that one in here. So pretty much you're gonna be able to summon her. She can target herself and make all other monsters on the field love weight. So you pretty much get to summon your Rika Queen super easily with that. Next up, we're going to be running three Mudan the Rika Fairy. So pretty much this deck, this archetype in general, has a lot of really good spells and traps that you're gonna be wanting to have on your field. And she pretty much allows you to get all your spells and traps to your hand. So it's really good. Um, definitely run a three. If you want, you can run her a little lower. But I said there's a three. You're always going to be wanting to get your spells and traps to your hand. Next up, two Erica, the Rika Fairy. So this card's really good because she can pretty much she can bring herself back from the graveyard. And then um, when an attack is, uh, is declared involving another plant monster you control, you can... Um, she beat this card from your hand and uh, that monster gains a thousand so pretty much she's helpful because she can boost up your Rick and queen even like further beyond and then um she can bring herself from back from the grave and then you have more tribute fodder or whatever and uh she's really good in this um now we're going to be uh we have a uh, Pramila the rika fairy um she's the one that uh boost up your monsters level by two so pretty much she allows you to go into uh, the other Rika Queen. And she's also a little four. She makes it useful for our other plays that I'm going to be showing you for um, some of our other stuff. Then I only run one Hellbore, the Rika Fairy. She's good. She's a negate. But um, she is kind of, she's kind of specific. And she can also bring herself into a graveyard. Pretty much what she does is if... Uh, opponent targets a rika monster with a car effect or any of your cards while well, you have a rika monster on the field you can tribute her and uh negate it so that's pretty much um your entire rika engine right here these are all the rika uh, monsters you're going to be playing so the next part is your plant engine and we're going to be we're kind of doing a um combo variant here with this but pretty much three lone fire if you don't see your rika petal in your hand this is the next card you want to be looking for this pretty much gets you into your combo plays you you kind of want to be looking for this more than the other stuff and when i show you the combos you're going to see why you want to have this so next card up is evil thorn these um lone fires are always at three um evil thorn you pretty much have to run at three pretty much what evil thorn does is 
if you don't know, is you tribute, you summon him, tribute him, and uh, when you tribute him, you uh, get to summon your other two evil thorns from the deck. So then you're going to be running, next up is two Predator Plant Orpheus Scorpio, because we run Instant Fusion, and this goes with our combo, so with Orpheus, you're going to be running two Cobra. I don't like the 3-2, I think 2-2 two, two is fine, it's worked out perfectly fine so far. Um, I see no problems with it. And then last of the plant engine, one spore. It recurs itself. It's good. It goes you use it once, goes to the graveyard, and you can bring it back. It's pretty good. Um you can run more. Um I'm gonna tell you guys about some other stuff. You can run you can run more of him and maybe some other cards. Um I have sided just in case you guys want or not sided, but if you want to run a different build, because honestly in the end of the day, this is just kind of a a guide if you want to change something up go for it this isn't the end all be all you know and if you guys have any ideas put them in the comment below let me know because you, you, we can always talk about deck builds for days you know everyone has great ideas if you think something's better go for it let me know but next up we're going to be running your main searcher card freak of glamour this is a fantastic card if you tribute a monster you pretty much got to search for two cards and uh you can't beat that. That is uh, absolutely amazing. Next up, actually, I'll leave this here so you can see this beautiful card art. But um, next up is two Rika Flurries. Basically, if um, a Rika monster you control is tributed, it, your opponent has to tribute one of their cards, their choice. So this is absolutely amazing. Like if they only have like their boss monster or something, and it's like, oh, it can't be destroyed by card effects. Boom, instantly. So um. We have those for the our those are our Rika spells. Next up we kinda have our other like generic kind of spells. Um we're running two Call by the Grave, two um Cosmic Cyclone. Go further up. And then here's our one us, one instant fusion. Need it. One for one. Really good to get your one little ones out and Monster Reborn. This comes in clutch. Um if you want to take out like Monster Reborn for another call by the grave or cosmic cyclone go for it doesn't really change much <laughs> just more consistency with getting those kind of cards but um that's up to you guys next up your traps not too many traps we're just running two rika sheet and one rika tranquility uh rika sheet pretty much is um uh you're kind of negate you target one monster on the field and um you negate it, and then if you tribute a plant, you can negate it, then take it. Rika Tranquility is another uh, monster reborn. Um, pretty much, you can tribute one plant, and then get a Rika monster. And if you tribute a plant, you can get any plant monster in your graveyard to special summon it. So, really good. So, you technically got two monster reborns. This one's honestly better, but yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's fun. So, now into the extra deck. So, we're going to be running right here your two Rika Queens so now what she does is that you can detach one material from this card and target one monster on the field tribute it so pretty much she and then her other effect is that for every monster that's tributed she gains 200 so pretty much she just keeps boosting herself up so I run this one at two then you have our other queen which is Kanazashi the Rika Queen she has synergy with her. So pretty much, if a monster is tributed, except in the damage step, you can attach one material from this card, then target one monster in either graveyard, special summon it, but negates effects. It also becomes a plant monster. If a plant monster you control would be destroyed by a card effect, you can tribute one plant monster from your hand or field instead. You're going to use it well, each once per turn. So, synergy with this one. Pretty much, you use her effect, her effect pops, you bring a monster back. And then if you have um, some other stuff, you can just kind of keep getting plants from the graveyard or take one of your opponent's monsters and bring it to your side of the field. So it's pretty good. Those are the only Rika ones we're running. So next we're I'm gonna kinda exp or I'm gonna kinda explain. I wanna hold up folks. I'm gonna explain this stuff first. So next up we're gonna be running Totally Awesome and Bahama Shark. So this is a combo deck. You pretty much want to bring out totally awesome, and then you have to lose it later on. But Bahama Shark, two water monsters, which is very easy in this deck, especially if you combo off properly, which I'm going to show you guys the combos later. So those are all of our exceeds. Next, we're going to go into our links. Two aromas, aromas, Seraphy, Jasmine. This can be put out one. 
I run two just in case something happens with her and she gets popped, negated, whatever. Go into your other one. Then you're going to be running a cross sheep. Cross sheep to extend all your plays. Super good. And then crossroads dragon for your nasty little black rose play if you want to go for that. So then you're... If you can if you can get them, great. If you can't, don't need to. Um Apple is obviously an amazing card. You already know what it does. If you don't, it pretty much gets you a bunch of negates. Next up we have Royal Sword Dragon, your OTK machine. You know, amazing card. Um you can change those out for anything, guys. I have some other options right here. Um but next up is Black Rose Dragon, if this thing which focused Black Rose Dragon and Mud Dragon Swamp. Your instant fusion target, what helps you go into Bahamas Shark and Black Rose Dragon, just because, well, who doesn't like a good old Black Rose? If you don't know what it does, it pretty much destroys everything on the field. So now, as you guys saw, that was about 14, I think, cards. So next up, depending on how you want to run your extra spores or anything like that, um, Crystal Hockey Fibrax. You search for your spore instead. You get healthy fibrax out, bring your other spore out, boom. Then you should have two. You can kind of play with it, you have extra thing. And then Crystal Wing Single Dragon. Not a bad card to run in it if you decide to do that because you can get easy little weights. But that's kind of up to you. You can kind of play with what you want your 15th one to be. There isn't like anything um, too, too dedicated you have to be to with that. Um, some, let me grab them. Some extra options you can have for these is um if you run some if you want to run any of the higher level eights or stronger Rika monsters is um Rose Bell of Revelation. You can add one plant monster with 2400 more attack from your deck to your hand, and you can banish this card from your graveyard and special summon one plant monster with 2400 from your hand. So pretty much you search one, special summon it. Amazing card. We don't run a lot of Monsters that have 2400 attack in this deck, some of them do, but you can search through them so easy that yes, this card is great, but unless you're running more of the Rika engine or pure variant, if you're running a pure variant of Rika's, just all the Rika monsters and really nothing else, this card is very good, but we're not running the pure version, we're running a kind of plant uh, combo deck version, so I want to go... Um, we're gonna go cut to the next one and I'm gonna be showing you pretty much the main combo you're gonna be wanting doing with this deck. And uh, yeah, catch you guys in the next clip. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna kinda show you the kinda two card combo that is um, kinda get you set up and kinda where you can go afterwards. So basically, you're gonna kinda want Primula and Lone Fire in your hand. Anything else you have in your hand, great, but this is essentially the one of the best combos you can do, so. Lone Fire, you're going to summon that one. Tribute Lone Fire, which allows you to special summon any plant. Then you're going to go into your Credit Plant Scorpio. You're going to have to get rid of one card in your hand. So you're going to pop send whatever to the graveyard. Or so yeah, send whatever to the graveyard. And then um, because a monster was uh, tributed, you can summon Permula. Then you're going to be able to special summon off of Orpheus. Probably a little wrong order, but you know. You summon him however you want. So summon him, he gets your instant fusion to your hand. Then you're going to you use whichever ones to link summon for Aroma Seraphy. Just make sure this is pointing towards that. Use her effect, tribute one of your plant monsters to summon any plant from your deck. You're going to summon Evil Thorn. After Evil Thorn's effect, tribute it. You're going to cost 300 damage to your opponent. And it's going to allow you to special summon your two other tokens. So, or your Evil Thorns. So then you're going to link these two away to get your cross sheep. You're going to um, then activate your instant fusion to bring out your Mud Dragon of the Swamp. So then this effect is going to pop and we're going to get our Primula back. So then at this point now, you're going to exceed for your Buhamut Shark. You're going to activate your Buhamut Shark's effect. It doesn't matter which one. And get out your Totally Awesome. Now, Totally Awesome negates anything and everything. So at this point now, if you have no combo extenders in your hands, you go into the Rika part. 
this is two, three, four. You get rid of these and you pretty much go into your, uh, your Appaloosa. So you would go into this and you would have Appaloosa, three negates, and this is your fourth negate for anything. So this is kind of one board you can end up on. But now let's say, so let's back it up a second here. You are still, you are still, um, so we have our cross sheep still here, our Boo Hamashark and our Evil Thorn, and you have some combo extenders in your hand. So let's say, because we only used three cards so far, we have Snowdrop, and let's say you had an extender to search out for one of, um, let's just say you had, uh, you had these two, right? You're able to search for one of them, et cetera, whatever, whatever the case is. You got some one of these in your hand. So basically, you're going to activate your effect. You're going to attribute this one. And you get special summon both of these, right? So now you can activate her effect. Search for whichever one you want to your hand. Activate her. You make her a level 8. Now they're level 8. You exceed. You exceed. And you're going to go into your, your teardrop. So now you have teardrop that and that on there um then let's say um yeah so you pretty much can go into this or go into the appalooza because at this point you need one more monster and unless you had all the great ex greatest extenders or you had another card you went second that's the only way you're going to have that so you, if you can somehow get another one boom get another one out go into the appalooza then you would have appalooza and all that on the field but that requires the perfect hand but that's essentially what you can do with this deck you can set up quite of a quite good negate board so you have the perfect hand going second no probably no one's stopping you this is essentially what your board would look like in the next turn you can go into kanazashi and get your other um your other thing but you always want to try to go for teardrop totally awesome if you can't get the appalooza so that's pretty much the main combo, the kind of best combo you, you can pretty much pull off and how you should always be kind of trying to play this deck. I think this deck is super fun, even when you can't get this out because she will lock you into plants. So if you can set this board up and then use her at the end, you can pretty much always get yourself through clean at the very end. Like, it's pretty hard. You, you pretty much always have a chance to get her out. It's the rank six that is a little bit, you have to put a little bit more time into getting. But if you have the right cards in your hand, you can get Mudan out with her. Use her effect, target Mudan. Now they're both level six. You go into that and it's pretty much, um yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty fun deck. I, I've really been enjoying this deck, especially with some of the spells. You get like Rika Flurries on your board or anything and just put that down after effect tribute one of your own and you get you force your opponent to tribute one of your other problem cards so it's pretty good um just want to say thank you guys for watching the video and uh leave a thumbs up if you like the video and uh hit that subscribe button so i'll catch you guys later adios Sam!